Okay, this is 1425 Golf View Drive. Great house, great front yard, pretty street. It's the neighbor house. Then you actually have, I'll show you on the side over here. You have a side driveway that goes to the back that's a separate, either one car garage or workshop with a really pretty gate. You have a two car garage here as you're walking up. You have really nice brick paver walkway. Nice flowers and flower beds. If you notice, you have the same gate matching on the other side. A beautiful front yard with some very nice big trees. Front porch. Front door, glass block features on either side. And when you come in the front door, this is the, where the air handler is located. And if you walk in, you go to your left first. You have a hall closet here and a hall closet here. This is the main living area. The main living area is a good size with a fireplace. Leads back to what they have as a playroom. But if you go to the right, you have your formal dining room. It has a built-in cabinet right here. Built-in china cabinet. Formal dining room walks right into the kitchen. So the kitchen's not open to the rest of the house, but in the kitchen, they do have a table, so it's considered an eat-in kitchen with a side-by-side -side fridge, dishwasher, smooth top range, good bit of cabinets, maybe a little bit small, and then a large pantry right here. You can see. The kitchen does enter into that playroom you saw coming off of the living room. They have a large pool table in here which fits, so they use this as their playroom. And then, oh, there's your husband. Off of the playroom is a grill. Kind of an odd place for it, but a grill. And then that leads into, oh, where'd the light go for this? There it is. A step-down room here where they're just using for a little bit of storage. And here, the light for it is the laundry room. So. They have room for shelves. You see the upper storage up there, as well as the washer and dryer, and then a separate set of shelves right here. And this door goes out to get it open, out to the garage. This is a good sized garage. They have a large Ford F-150 parked in here, so they did manage to fit that. I don't see attic access from right here because this looks like this garage was added on later but it is a good size two car garage out here. Now if we come back through the living room because the playroom leads to the living area and you come straight down the hallway, if you notice there's carpet in the living area, carpet in the dining and then tile in the kitchen, the halls, the wet areas. The first room that you come to off of the front door is the office. Let me back up just so you can see. This is the office. You can see you have built-in shelves on this side. And then, even though it's an office, it has a closet so they can call it a bedroom. That would technically be bedroom four. Five. Five? Yeah. One, already four. One, two. Maybe not. Mm -mm. Mm, yeah, there's four. Just four. This one has just four, so the closet for this bedroom is right here. It's just your regular, typical closet. And then this is a good size, well, this bedroom is a little small, but it does have built-in bookcase features here. Bed, has room for a nightstand and a dresser. And it does have a closet right back there. And down this hallway, to the left is a linen closet. Well, it's not actually a linen closet, my apologies. It's actually where the hot water heater is located. And then this is the guest bathroom. They have a tub, a pedestal sink, and a toilet in here, and a large cabinet, the window. Back down that hall is the living area. Back down this hall is to the right. This would be bedroom number two.
They fit a TV, a bed, dresser. This one has two windows in it. And then lastly is the master suite. The master suite has a has his and hers closets right here. On this side, and then on this side. They have a built-in dresser, so it's built-in and stays with the room. We have a king-size bed in here. You have one long window along this whole wall, and then two windows on the other side, and they manage to fit another dresser, another dresser, and still have room. And here you have a built-in vanity with cabinets, if you look all the way up here. Built-in cabinets, an additional closet right here. So the master actually has three closets. And the master bath has a granite top, remodeled vanity with a granite top. Nice light fixture. Good size window. And then of course the toilet and the shower. And you should be able to see, yeah, you can see the shower. And then that's looking back out at your vanity area and all of the shelves. Coming out to the master. The master's actually a really good size because you do have a sitting area, a king size bed, and built in features. Now, if I come back down the hall, the only place we didn't go was outside. So, let me take you we go back through the living area to the playroom. It's just dark for a moment. We'll get to the porch. That's the garage I showed you from the front, which is also like a workshop. This is the whole screened-in porch, which overlooks the pool. The pool is big. It's beautiful. There's an additional shed on the other side of the yard, and the entire yard is privacy fenced. The fence looks like it's in really good condition. You can see, same color. goes all the way around the property. Give you some perspective there. And I walked down the other side, so that other side of the yard there is where I showed you where the where the same size fence is on the other side comes up. All of the windows have hurricane shutters, as you can see, they have the screws for them to go on. And then the porch has room for a large table for entertaining, and then you still, of course, have a concrete pad here, as well as a good area of yard over there, and a little bit of side yard over there. That is 1425 Golf View.